Introduction It was a lively sunny morning. Nitin is cycling to his friend's place. On the way, scooters, bicycles, cars, buses whiz past him. He cycles past Balakat carrying sand. Soon he is cycling along the banks of the Yamuna River. He finds men crossing the river in boats. He hears a noise in the sky. He looks up to find a jet fly past. In this lesson, you will learn about different modes and means of transport. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define transport Define means of transport Define modes of transport Identify different modes of transport Transport the movement of goods, animals and people from one place to another is known as transport. People use cycles, scooters, cars, buses, trains, boats, ships and aeroplanes to move from one place to another. The vehicles used to move goods and passengers from one place to another are called means of transport. Modes of transport Goods, animals and people can be transported by road, rain, water or air. Different mediums used for transportation are known as the modes of transport. Modes of transport can be broadly divided into three categories. Land transport, water transport and air transport. Land transport. The movement of goods and passengers on land is known as land transport. Land transport is of two types, road transport and rail transport. The vehicles that carry passengers and goods by land such as cars, buses and trains are called means of land transport. Water transport. The movement of goods and passengers on water is called water transport. The vehicles that carry goods and passengers through waterways are called means of water transport. Boats and ships are the means of water transport. Air transport. The movement of goods and passengers from one place to another through air is called Air transport. The vehicles carrying goods and passengers through air, such as helicopter and aeroplanes, are called means of air transport. Air transport is the fastest mode of transport. Animal as a means of transport. Animal driven vehicles, such as bullock carts, are used to carry straw, crops, and sometimes even people. Animals like camels, horses and donkeys carry goods and people. So animals play important role in transport. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The vehicles carrying goods and passengers from one place to another are called means of transport. Different mediums used for transportation are known as the modes of transport. Three different modes of transport are land, water and air transport. The vehicles carrying goods and passengers through land are called means of land transport. The vehicles carrying goods and passengers through water are called means of water transport. The vehicles carrying goods and passengers through air are called means of air transport. Animals like camels and donkeys carry goods and people.